Here we are with our word problems book. This is the grade one level. I'm going to open this up and we're going to get started right here on the first lesson. Number one, we're looking at addition problems. Addition means combining or making the number bigger. So we're going to add things together. Do you see the word add? Addition. Addition. It's right there. So I am going to use my um, pencil because we're doing math. I use pencil for math. If it doesn't show up well, I might have to switch to marker. So our job always, don't guess. Don't guess, don't guess, don't guess. Our job is to read the question and then answer it. Okay? So we need to make sure we read the question and then answer it. So here is our first one. How many coins are there in all? So look at this group. They have the hands showing you this group of coins. This hand is closer to these coins and this hand is closer to these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six coins. This should feel like a review. This should feel easy to write the six right there. Start at the top, pull down and around. That's what the answer is. Let's try this one. How many balls are there in all? The hands are reminding you all together. What's the whole group? We don't want to just count these ones. We need all the balls between the hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see how I'm marking the numbers as I go? Six balls. Pull down and circle around. Six. Number three. How many ducks are there in all? All together means combining them. How many are there? We count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five ducks. Pull down, circle around, and cross the top. Five. How many? Are you starting to notice a pattern here? Do you see they keep asking you how many? How many? How many? We keep seeing it over and over. It's going to help us with our reading if we keep reading the same thing. How many cats are there in all? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. We pull down and circle around. Look, you guys, there's a set of blocks here and a set of blocks here. And these arrows showing put those blocks together. How many boxes are there in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boxes. Pull across and down. Let's go back and read our answers. Six coins, six balls, five ducks, six cats, and seven boxes. Let's move on to the next page. Moving on to number six. You have three boxes. Tom brings four more. How many total boxes do you have? Here are your three boxes. One, two, three. Here are Tom's four boxes. One, two, three, four. How many total? We are combining them together to get a total number of boxes. So we're gonna start with our three boxes and count on. Three, four, five, six, seven. You need to write seven here and read the answer as seven boxes. Number seven. 
there are four cars in the parking lot. Two more cars come and park. How many total cars are there in the parking lot? So we're looking for the total cars. We started with four and two more came. Should we start here with one and count all of them? Or can we start to count on? That's our goal is to be able to count on. We know this is a group of four. Start counting from four. Count on. Five, six. How many total cars? Six cars. Number eight. There are five birds eating food. Four more birds come and eat. How many birds, oops, how many total birds are there? This is our group of five. One, two, three, four. This is our group of four. If you look at these two numbers and you see nine because you're combining them, that's great. If you don't, count on five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are a total of nine birds. I'm going to read this question and you're going to get a couple seconds to write down your answer. And I'm going to read this question and you're going to get some time to write down your answer. And then I'll go back and show you the answers for the last two. Here we go. There are three chicks in a pen and six chicks in another pen. How many total chicks are there in the pens? So all together, two pens, chicks here and chicks here. Write your answer here. I'm going to read number 10 before I go back and answer this. Tom has two balloons and Sally has four balloons. How many balloons are there in all? Here's Tom's two balloons. Here's Tom or Sally's four balloons. Two balloons and four balloons. Write your answer here. All right, let's go back to the chicks and check our answers. Three chicks plus six chicks. Okay, so we're gonna count on from three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine total chicks. Three plus six is nine. Tom had two balloons. Sally had four balloons. Two plus four. Two, three, four, five, six. Six balloons total. So this is a review page. If this is really hard, you're going to want to practice doing adding numbers up to make 10. And then you'll be ready to move on. If this was easy peasy for you, congratulations. I want you to give yourself 100 points right here as soon as your work looks like mine. So if you need to go back and fix any of your answers, please do that and then give yourself that 100 points and you're ready to move on.